Welcome to Wind Chime Storytime. I'm David. And I'm Reese. Today we are reading The Dancing Hippo by Bright Hawk Productions. Let's visit the Savuti River, where the animal noises are creating nature's song. Down by the blue-green grassy waters of the Savuti River, the animals gather at sunset to drink and play and see what everyone has to say. The first to arrive is the monkey swinging from tree to tree, calling out to each other, Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's make monkey sounds together. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Next, the birds join the chorus with whistles and chirps. Ooh, ooh. How many different bird calls can you make? Cacaw! Cacaw! The frogs add a loud ribbit and the insects buzz in unison. Zzzz. Which sound tickles the most? Out of the collection of joyful sounds, a rhythm emerges. Swaying to the beat is Mvu Kutamba, a delicate and lovely hippopotamus, clearly enjoying the view and the sounds all around them. The hippo joins in with a Mm, 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 mm. Let's make hippo sounds with mvu. Mm, mm, mm. The light of the day dissolves into a beautiful sunset and a full moon rises. The moon glows brightly in the sky, shining light on this harmonious gathering at the watering hole. Mvu Katamba is hypnotized by the beauty of the moon and the beat. Inspired by the groove, the hippo goes into a hippo dance trance. A hippo dance trance. A hippo dance trance. A hippo dance trance. It is a very fun place to be, blissfully unaware of anything but the beat and the dance. At that moment, the elephant and the entire family of elephants, the parents, the children, the grandparents, and cousins, all of them come down to the watering hole. They always travel in a big tribe. The largest bull elephant surveys the animals playing by the blue-green grassy waters of the Savuti River. Splashing water on their head, they turn and look down the river to the happy dancing hippo. In a bliss bubble of joy and delight, Umvu Kotamba is clearly enjoying the hippo dance trance. When the elephant says in a big booming voice for all who can hear, Hippos cannot dance. The moment these words are spoken, Umvu's bliss bubble of joy and delight is popped. The hippo falls out of their trance and lands with a splash into the blue-green grassy waters of the Savuti River. It was as if Umvu had broken some unspoken code of behavior. The elephant made it clear. Hippo simply did not dance. Feeling embarrassed by the elephant's words, Umvu takes time to wallow in the darkness of a long, lonely night. Umvu didn't know that hippos couldn't dance, the elephant spoke with such authority on the matter. Mvu realized that, for this hippo at least, dancing felt good deep inside. It felt timeless and powerful, blissful and completely engaging. Then, faced with self-doubt, Mvu thought, No, it couldn't have been that great. It was not possible. The elephant was very clear. Hippos cannot dance. This should be the end of it. The hippo still felt awkward and self-conscious, so they stayed away from all the other animals for several days. After a good long mud bath, known to make almost anyone feel better and softer, Mvu gathers up the courage and curiosity to wander out of the river onto the grassy banks in the early morning light of dawn while no one is around. While Mvu sniffs around a beautiful bunch of flowers, suddenly there is a honeybee. The bee begins to circle Mvu's head 
buzzing one hippo ear and then the other. Mvu hears a whisper. Sometimes life is sweet, and sometimes it stings. Sometimes someone says you can't dance, and sometimes you love the hippo dance trance. You decide, Mvu. What are you willing to be? Asks the honeybee as they fly away. What am I willing to be? Mvu thinks out loud. After several moments of consideration, Mvu announces, I am willing to be delightfully surprised by how sweet this life can be. Mvu slips back into the waters of the Savuti River in the early morning light of dawn. The hippo's mind on the honeybee's message about words that sting and the sweet, delightful experience of dancing under the moon. Mvu wondered, was it all just a silly dream? Several days later, Mvu Katamba sat gazing at the shimmering stars that filled the night sky. It was a dark, moonless night. There was one star that flashed on and off and seemed to be getting closer. Blink, blink, blink. Suddenly, it was right in front of the hippo. Blink, blink, a firefly. Nearly crossing Mvu's eyes, the firefly danced right up to the hippo's nose. Shine your light! Shine your light! Only you can shine your light! Mvu thought, shine your light? Hmm. The hippo recalled the feeling of dancing in the moonlight, the lightness, the brightness, the glow. The hippo knew the feeling was real. Up until now, Mvu wondered if it happened at all. Was it the rhythm, the moon, or the dance that made the evening feel so special? Maybe all of it made a difference. In the deep dark of night, Mvu Kutamba slipped back into the water, thinking about the firefly, the moon, and shining their light. When the hippo finally drifted off to sleep, they had dreams of glittering sparkles and twinkling moonlight. Mvu dreamed about the hippo dance trance and remembered how the dance trance illuminated their entire being, radiating light from inside out, flowing like the Savuti River itself. About a week later, Mvu emerged from the blue-green grassy waters of the Savuti River. As the sun warmed Mvu's skin, the hippo gazed up to notice a pair of butterflies flitting about the trees. One of the butterflies started spiraling around Mvu, coming closer and closer to the hippo's head. As the butterfly spiraled closer, it says, Mvu Katamba, you can dance. You can do anything you want. I used to be a caterpillar, can you believe it? From crawling on leaves to flying through the air. You can do it too. Transformation happens. The butterfly giggles and flies away. In the heat of the day, Mvu slips back into the river to think about the butterfly's extraordinary tale of transformation from caterpillar to a colorful butterfly. Mvu wondered if they could also transform their embarrassment into a hippo dance trance. By now, a whole moon cycle had passed, and again the evening light was soft and orange with the sunset. Mvu emerged to hear that magical sound of the river and the animals as the full moon begins to rise. The sunset is inspiring to Mvu, but self-doubt still lingers in their mind, keeping the hippo dance trance from happening. The birds and monkeys call in the distance as the sun sets on the horizon. Mvu feels the rhythm, but simply adds their own hippo sounds to music. The hippo then begins to sway while watching the full moon rise over the water. Beams of light come down from the moon and dance across the blue-green grassy waters of the Savuti River. The moon sets down a pearl necklace made of moonlight that ripples over the water and slides around Mvu's neck. Mvu is radiant in the moon glow necklace and overcome with joy. The hippo dances effortlessly, swaying into the deepest hippo dance trance ever. 
While Mfu is doing the hippo dance trance, the elephant and the entire family of parents, children, grandparents, and cousins come down to the watering hole. The big bull elephant splashes water on their head and looks across the watering hole at the hippo dancing in the moonlight. In the biggest booming voice, the elephant announces for all to hear, I guess hippos can dance. Everyone cheers and dances the hippo dance trance deep into the night. Thanks for listening to Wind Chime Story Time. Have a pleasant day. And the next adventure's on the way. Bye. Bye.